it's a cycle. You know, you, you, it's not just you start with one view and then you end up with conduct or action. You, you've, you know, you meditate and then that strengthens your view, you know. And then when you meditate more, you know, conduct. Conduct affects the view and it goes back and forth, back and forth. And I feel like, you know, it's very daily. I mean, it's not like you become a Buddhist and, it's, and that's day one. It's very, very daily. And you have to do it again and again. And that's, that's what I really try to express to people. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm in a very fortunate situation of having really great teachers, but even I have to do it daily. It's a very much a daily kind of routine. Mensen veranderen maar heel erg langzaam en ik, ik ook. En ik denk dat, dat, uh, dat die teleurstelling daarin eigenlijk heel erg ontnuchterend is. Want daarmee uh, ja, ga je ook zien dat het, uh, dat het daar dus ook echt niet om gaat. Terwijl je dat misschien ergens wel een beetje hoopt dat je een heel erg perfect mens wordt. Gaat het goed? Mag ik meekomen? Ja. Oké, okay. dag. Abandon all um, desire of fruition. Abandon all idea of fruition. Dus uh, ja, verlaat alle, alle hoop op, uh, uh, op enige vrucht of enig resultaat. En dat is, uh, ja, dat is heel belangrijk. Ik denk ook op het moment dat je dat laat varen, dat is pas het moment dat je echt uh, 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 gewoon vrij in deze wereld op een bepaalde manier uh, uh, rondloopt. And then pay, the mind, paying attention to the breathing here, is training the mind. So what we, the, the next step is, is that you take the mind from whatever it was thinking about. <clears throat> so for, for this kind of meditation, we might have been thinking about, you know, um, work, might have been thinking about <clears throat> family or friends, whatever it is, we say, oh, now I'm setting the internal conditions. And the internal condition is whatever is happening in our life, just set it apart. It will be there afterwards. I'll take my mind away from thinking about those things, and then I'll place my mind. So the emphasis on placement. Tibetan we say semla jukpa, placing of the mind or entering the mind into the breathing. <clears throat> Sambala heeft eigenlijk ingegrepen in mijn privéleven, dat ik nu met mijn vriendin eigenlijk op punt sta om ontslag te nemen bij het bedrijf waar we werken over een aantal uh, maanden en uh, uh, in Desensoni in Frankrijk te gaan wonen op een uh, boeddhistisch retraitecenter en uh, ja, eigenlijk tekenen we om daar vijf jaar te gaan wonen en te gaan werken. En, uh, en die stap uh, wil ik heel graag nemen omdat het uh, nog meer uh, mogelijkheid is om al die dingen samen te brengen. Werk en uh, st boeddhistische studie en leven. Dus ik zie daar heel erg naar uit om, daar, uh, om daarheen te gaan. Meditate for one minute, okay? You guys, you know how to sit, meditate? Yeah? Okay, one minute.
Okay, let's bow. So you have some questions? Do you remember your past life? And if you do, how, how was it to die? Sometimes um, it's hard to remember last year, let alone my last life. But uh, um, I have, uh, when I'm studying a text from my predecessor, because my predecessor, the previous Mipam, was a great writer and teacher. So when I read teachings, um, I very much enjoy it and I feel very close. <clears throat> but I don't <clears throat> remember dying particularly. That's probably a good thing. There's a consciousness that goes from lifetime to lifetime. It's very, very vast and very, very big. Uh, and we sometimes call it the ground basis of all, or gunchi. And it is the f fabric that continues from lifetime to lifetime. It's the basis by which karma is kept. And within that consciousness, um, individuals are born into the world. And from that, they have a, a regular mind. And with that mind, they start thinking and doing things. So there's a conceptual, there's a conceptual thinking mind, which is, you know, deciding what to have for lunch and talking to people and that kind of mind. Um, but sort of behind it is is a, is a vast, is a is more of a consciousness altogether. That consciousness is more neutral. You know, it doesn't it doesn't particularly have distinctions. And the conceptual mind is more to do with duality. You know, and the thinking mind has to do with more duality. And so that's really what we use. But the thing is, is that even in Buddhism, that, that conceptual mind or that dualistic mind is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's something that we use and we need and as, as we go along. But also, I think, you know, it's fair to say that, you know, within Tibetan, there are so many different words for mind and consciousness <clears throat> because there are different levels. Also, there are levels by which we pay attention to them. Some um, in terms of everyday activity and then some of them in terms of what we're dealing with in meditation practice. Op een gegeven moment werd ik wakker, of niet, ik werd, kwam een beetje bij, maar ik werd helemaal heen en weer geschud. Nou ja, toen kwam het bij, nou mijn man helemaal e emotioneel, nou toen bleek er iets niet goed te zijn gegaan. De... Ja, en u werd wakker en toen, bemerkte, toen hoorde u dat dat, uh, nou, dat, dat niet goed was gegaan? Nou, toen werd mij gezegd ja. van ja, u kreeg een riep en wat we niet wilden en u bent even weggeraakt. Maar ja. later bleek ik dat gewoon even een ja. hartstilstand, want ze bijna mijn bot en in hun... Zo was het voor u dat u dat... Heel erg. Kijk, ik was daarvoor nooit bang. Nu ben ik bang en heel onzeker. Ja. En dit zijn eigenlijk momenten dat je de controle kwijt bent. Kwijt je bent en, en op moet geven. Ja. Ja. Everybody wants a level of happiness. Everybody wants a level of love and friendship. Everybody wants a level of um, being um, kind of obstacle free, hopefully. And he said the, the seed of that kind of, the seed that produces that kind of individual or life is the thought of compassion. And it is not a religious thing. It is a th the thought of compassion in that particular way. And that has to be generated in the mind. And I think also what happens is that we have to, um, you know, I feel like a lot of times what I'm doing is trying to translate these words and try to understand these words. Because when we say compassion, a lot of us have just one kind of way of looking at it. And uh, it may be just being nicey to nicey to somebody. But really what we're talking about is um, in, uh, in Tibet, we say the storehouse of energy, like life force energy, the individual who is able to sustain their life force comes from compassion. And uh, therefore, in, and we're literally talking about health and talking about long life and longevity, that ability. And that comes from that energy. And it comes from an attitude where an individual is, is open enough to s realize that other beings are in, a, are in a difficult situation, are suffering, and having the approach. And here, compassion is described as ningje in Tibetan, and ning means heart or essence or nature. J means sometimes noble, sometimes it means uh, lord or superior. And they're saying, basically saying, the ying sometimes just means mind itself. J means the superior. It goes, the best part 
or the crowning jewel of the mind is compassion. I have this kind of um, theory and I call it the 10% theory. Even a small group of us can actually begin to affect things in terms of hopefully in a positive way. And uh, even personally, that um, we get up in the morning and we can just change 10% of our mind. The rest of us can be really pissed off and upset and everything else, you know. But just 10% says, I'll try a little bit, you know. Don't overdo it. And so slowly, slowly it begins to take effect. So much luck and thank you. Wilt u dvd's bestellen van onze programma's? Bel dan 040 282 0022. Als u meer wilt weten over onze uitzendingen, vraag dan de gratis programmagids aan op nummer 035 677 1611. Of kijk op www.boeddhistischeomroep.nl. Zodra een mens geboren is, wordt hij gewassen. Het vuil moet eraf. Door wassen scheppen ouders de eerste orde in de chaotische wereld van een pasgeborene.